Alright Hostas, what I want to do in this video is I actually want to clean up this default project even more and by that I mean remember we got a home page and also this users page whenever we first started but we actually don't even need this users page so let me just rip out the code to uh, you know make everything a little bit more simple so let's see what code we don't need in this app.js file first delete this favicon because we won't be worrying about the favicons right now and also delete line number eight which I guess would be line number nine before I deleted that but again this is just a requirement to that users file that we're gonna be getting rid of and let's see what else right here alright so in line 24 which would have been 26 delete the line for the users because again we're gonna be deleting that file and we of course can't use that middleware if it doesn't exist so delete those three lines of code right there and also this users route right click it and delete it okay so right now of course we don't have any users page just the home page and to verify that if I restart this and try to go to users refresh it it doesn't exist so exactly what I wanted one single page I think it'll be a little bit easier to explain if we don't have you know all that extra crap alright so in app.js let's figure out what everything does alright so we already know what this stuff is express we learned about it. that's what we're using path we already learned about that in it was like really early like the third tutorial or whatever pretty much working with file pass what are these other ones logger is actually a module used for logging out info in the terminal so for example you see this right here it was logged out through the use of logger which they named Morgan I don't know why but they did it whatever probably the creator was named Morgan or something and now we're getting off track so let's continue alright so cookie parser you can probably already guess is for handling cookies body parser whenever you have to parse a text body or a JSON part or a JSON body say party that'd be cool a JSON party whatever alright then that's what you use routes we already know what that is pretty much the brains behind everything now this line of code you could probably understand from our connect tutorial what this does is is pretty much initializing your app to use express in other words we're saying let express and let this framework handle all of the user requests this little chunk of code right here is setting up how the views are handled and if we chose um, Jade for like when we were first setting up our project then it would of course use the Jade as the view engine but we're using EJS and again I'm gonna ex be explaining to you guys exactly how to use EJS in well probably the next tutorial but uh, yeah alright so this little chunk of code we're gonna see you later as well it's just setting up how data is logged and parsed this right here is looking at your path for example we only have one page right now so not a whole lot of options but saying whenever the user requests this page using that path then use this middleware which is essentially index.js now if you guys are wondering alright what's up with all of these error handlers well what this little chunk of code does is it as you can see it catches the 404 error and it passes it on to the next error handler so just like a stack oh I got like a chunk in my throat so that's why it calls next passing in ERR because it's passing it through the stack and if we ever wanted to make additional error handlers that's why they threw this little comment right here they say put them right there now this little chunk of code right here and this little chunk of code are both error handlers in other words whenever you're working on your project or whenever your website is live and you get a bug some kind of error then these tell it how to be handled why do we have two of them well the only difference between these two is that you use this one right here during development and you use this one whenever your website's live and that's called production so why would you need two different ones will not you just handle them the same either way well check this out you see right here whenever we went to the website users well that doesn't exist anymore so what it did is it printed out the stack trace in other words it printed out a detailed message of our error so we can pretty much find the bug now whenever our website is live let's say that the user I don't know clicks a button and something goes wrong 
obviously you don't want to be spewing out a bunch of error messages and stack traces to them because if like my grandma was using the site and she was looking at this she would probably think someone was hacking into her computer so that's the difference between these two during development when you're just working on your project you actually want to see these stack traces because they help you find the bugs a lot easier however during production you want to hide those and well there you go and now that we're finally done understanding what the heck all of these files mean we can get into the fun stuff so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe see you next time